are now available on Tata Sky channel number 526. Navi Mumbai has to be the single biggest gainer from the Suresh Prabhu's rail budget. Mumbai's satellite city is already the site of a host of infrastructure projects and the Panvel CST elevated rail link could just prove to be the icing on the cake. Ruchi Deshpande who tracks the Navi Mumbai market joins us with details of the massive infrastructure boost currently underway in this market. Now, Ruchi, uh, Navi Mumbai is the clear gainer there. Tell us how is this market changing? Well, Navi Mumbai commuters certainly have a lot to cheer about, especially after today's rail budget, where uh, uh, Railway Minister Suresh Prabhu announced a fast train elevated corridor uh, from Panvel to CST. Now, the major purpose of this is to link uh, the is to, is to link South Bombay to uh, the in existing Navi Mumbai International Airport. Uh, the status, as we speak right now, is the fact that the techno economic feasibility for this project has already been done, and the rest of the developments can now. take place moving on uh, if this is one project that uh, will make navi mumbai a hot destination for real estate developers there is also a host of other infrastructure projects that uh, will do the same uh, in the first place we have uh, sidco's smart city nena uh, where 23 smart cities will be developed over the period of 15 years and uh, in the recent make in india week that took place uh, the civic body saw mous worth 30000 crore being signed uh, for uh, it, for the development of nena Uh, now moving on, we have the first major infrastructure project over here, that is the Navi Mumbai International Airport. Now this uh, 34,000 uh, crore airport also has a deadline of 2019, and as we speak, uh, the financial bids for uh, the pre-development work of this project are already um, underway, and the main purpose of this was to decongest uh, the existing Mumbai airport. Uh, lastly, we have uh, the 22-kilometer uh, Mumbai Trans Harbour link, and uh, this 11. 7,500 crore project also has a deadline of 2019. Uh, the tenders for this uh, project will be issued next month, that is in March. So, with a slew of these uh, interna- of these infrastructure projects, it looks like Navi Mumbai is all set to be the next uh, hot destinations uh, for real estate developers. All right, that sure is turning Navi Mumbai into a reality hotspot. Uh, moving on, earlier we caught up with Ashutosh Lemai, National Director Research, Research at JLL, and asked him about the impact of this move on Navi Mumbai's residential market, the demand that can be expected, and which pockets would benefit. Listen into what he had to say. Great news for Navi Mumbai because uh, with uh, these infrastructure initiatives, the the capacity of ferrying people across various parts of the town from Navi Mumbai it is is going to get doubled up if not more. Also, it means that it will open up more areas for development, particularly for housing. So it means that uh, we have uh, more capacity uh, generated for people to travel, more capacity uh, for people to uh, buy and live in houses. Now uh, that means that uh, we are going to cater uh, to the housing demand uh, significantly by uh, uh, by these infrastructure uh, projects. Also, it means that uh, during the infrastructure projects and and the subsequent uh, uh, moving up of uh, corporates and economic activities, it means uh, employment creation. And employment eventually generates wealth. Wealth leads to consumption, and that means it's the entire cycle that is started of economy. Prices. so we will be uh, rationalized and and more push for uh, housing uh, in in a uh, lower uh, price bracket we'll see uh, a great demand and and uh, push uh, because uh, not only uh, connectivity means uh, more area opening up for offices the transit oriented development which essentially uh, is one major component of the railway budget that the railway minister has announced transit oriented development will bring in a cheer and and that is something that the 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 companies are always looking for both the railways benefit because its land and its air rights uh, at the railway stations get optimally utilized and uh, it it gives the best land use for uh, for the railway station uh, premises and at the same time uh, people find it exceedingly convenient to uh, go to uh, offices and vice versa the integration of transportation uh, system uh, which the railway minister stressed i think the main areas that are going to get benefited are the southern uh, nodes of uh, uh, navi mumbai and uh, the naina precinct uh, so panvel uh, uh, ulwe kamothe the uh, area around the new airport and the uh, entire uh, naina uh, future city, uh, city which is uh, also a smart city in the making these are the areas which will get the maximum benefit <laughs> 